Today we're going to look at some uh, dialogue editing techniques um, and also how to shoot your dialogue. Um, okay, basically I've got some shots here. The first one is a wide shot. Then we've got a over the shoulder shot. And then we also have a close up shot. Um, so I think what we're going to start with is the wide shot. Uh, let me just play through this so you guys can get an idea what the scene is about. What's that supposed to be too dark? You told me any man that wouldn't have dirty thoughts after spending a day with him. Right, so that's the scene we're going to be working with. So, first of all, what we're going to do is let's just get to the beginning here. And I'm going to drag the whole white shot into our timeline. Like that. And what we're going to do next is to take a piece of the over-the-shoulder shot. Let's just drag that in and play through this quickly. What was I supposed to do, Doc? Tell me any man that wouldn't have dirty thoughts after staring at that for 20 minutes. So yeah, fail. Victor. All right. Okay, so let's look at our timeline. If we play this now, What's that supposed to do, Doc? I'm going to use that part. And right there, I'm going to pause. What I want to do is use the over-the-shoulder shot when he actually goes back. So, let's take this, let's take it from about there and drag it into here. Let's see how that looks like. So, yeah, fail. Okay, so obviously we need to mute the sound here, so I'm just going to cut a piece out of that. Because we're only going to use the, the sound from the over-the-shoulder shot there. So I'm just going to cut it all there. So yeah. Fail. Victor. Okay, as you can see, the timing is a bit off there. So let's just get that right. So we need to take it from about there. So let's just trim that, move that into place. Okay, let's have a look at that. So yeah. Fail. Victor. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, what I want to do next is to bring in the close-up shot. So first what I want to do, I want to bring a close-up shot somewhere around here. So let's just go and select a close-up shot where she looks up. probably something about that so let's just drag that in and we can obviously remove the sound from that clip let's play that and see how it looks like what's that supposed to do doc you told me any man that wouldn't have dirty thoughts after staying at that for 20 minutes so yeah fail big time yeah. all right we won't be using the sound from that last section so let's just delete that Next, what I want to do is come back to, so after this piece here, just before she speaks. So we can actually drag that back a bit so we can see the wide shot of that. And then we're going to bring in a, another close-up. Let's bring in that section. Okay, what I want to do next is go back to the over the shoulder shot and just get a piece from here where he looks at her. There we go. So we can actually cut that in, remove the sound from that clip. 
and also cut there so we can actually see that clip. Then what happened? Did you follow that? There we go. So let's have a look at the the scene from the top. What's that supposed to be too dark? You tell me any man that wouldn't have dirty thoughts after staring at that for ten minutes. So yeah. Fail. Big time. Then what happened? Did you follow that? Okay, I don't actually like this piece here. It goes by too quickly. We see the wide shot and then it goes back again. So I'm going to extend the close up shot. So let's see how that looks like. Fail. Big time. Then what happened? Yeah, that looks better. Then right at the end, I actually want to end off with a over the shoulder shot. Take that piece. So as you can see, that carries on for a bit too long. So let's go back to right here. Okay, so we can actually take that out and move that piece in that final over the shoulder shot Did you follow that? Yes, I did. And that looks much better it's just, just okay that looks much better let's just check that from the top again what's that supposed to do doc you told me any man they wouldn't have dirty thoughts after staying at that for 10 minutes so yeah fail then what happened? Did you follow that? Yes, I did. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to give you some uh, tips on how to actually make this look a little bit more cinematic. So, let's just take this shot here. Alright, let's go to effects and go to color correction, the three way. Drag that onto that clip. And I'm going to go to the tab that says color correction three way. Very easy way to do this is to just bring down the blacks a bit and bring up the whites just to get a little bit of contrast. You can even play around with the saturation and maybe the mids just a little bit. Just until you get the, the contrast right. Okay, the next step is to go to the motion tab, go to cropping, and for the top we're going to put 14%, and for the bottom also 14%. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click on that clip that we just um, changed, copy, select all my other clips, right click on them, and go to paste attributes, and then we just want to paste the crop and also the filters click ok ok let's play through that what's that supposed to do doc? you told me any man that wouldn't have dirty thoughts after staying at that for 10 minutes so yeah fail big time then what happened? did you follow that? yes I did Right, as you can see, that looks much better. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching my tutorial. Um, also, please follow me on Twitter. My Twitter name is Ruan Lotter. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Tunnel Vision TV. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys around.